happy Monday, and thank you for joining me for this week's Weekly Wisdom. Now, I am so excited to talk about this week's topic, because you see, this week is all about lessons learned as a full-time entrepreneur on my one-year anniversary. Eh, we're a couple of weeks late, but, you know, life happens. But I left my full-time job uh, Halloween of last year, October 31st, and so Halloween of this year was the anniversary of being an entrepreneur full-time for one year. Now, y'all know this business has been going since February 2019, right before COVID, perfect timing. And so it's almost four years old, and we'll have another conversation when it gets closer to that. But for this one, I want to talk about the three lessons learned when you're doing something for a year. So this is leadership lessons, entrepreneurship lessons. They cross paths depending on how you need to hear them right now. But the first lesson that I want to talk about is the fact that you are not for everyone. I am sorry. I'm sorry. Stay with me for just a second. Not everybody's going to like you. And you're not going to like everybody. And that's okay. But what you need to do is you need to find your people. You need to find your people that, you know what, if we're talking about as a leader, they may not be the people that you go out and have a beer with after a hard day, but they're the people that respect you, that align with your values, that align with your view of the world. I have a thing, I can't tolerate mean people. Like, I just, I can't, I can't, because that goes against everything that I believe in. And so mean people, bullies, they're not going to be a part of my inner tribe. They're not going to like me and I'm not going to like them. And that's okay. You're not for everyone, but find the people that you're for. Find the people that align with your message, that hear what you're saying. And if you're watching this video right now, you are one of my people. And thank you. Thank you for being on this journey with me. Thank you for continuing to move forward with me. Thank you for all of the silliness and the mistakes and the you got this is that we've had over this year. The second lesson that I want to talk about is you can't do this alone. I could not have done this without a lot of people. But the key people that I'm thinking of is my coach and mentor and friend, Gary Rifkin, who has helped me on the platform, my stage skills, being able to deliver an amazing message to y'all, whether it's behind a camera or in person, helping me with my storytelling, figuring out what works and what doesn't, getting those late night calls, oh my God, I bombed, it was awful, and reminding me that I still got this. And my business colleague and friend, Courtney Ramsey, who is also that person that I call in the middle of the night when something happens, but she helps me toss around ideas and she helps me look at things differently and she helps me slow down, which if y'all know me, then you know that slowing down is a problem of mine. And my family, my husband and my brother and my daughter, my daughter makes the perfect audience sitting on the couch listening to new content. My husband, when I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing, reminding me that I am absolutely doing the right thing. Having faith in the business enough for both of us sometimes. And my brother helping me toss ideas, listening hour after hour after hour when I'm trying new content and helping me run the house so that I can travel. You cannot do whatever it is that you are trying to do alone. Many times we get caught in the fact that we have to do it ourselves. We can't. Find your professional mentors that are going to help you deliver better products. Find your professional colleagues who understand what it is that you're going through and can, you know, sometimes wallow in the just awfulness of a day with you. And find your personal tribe, whether that's family or friends, that will tell you when you're not sure if you got this, that yes, you got this. You're doing the right thing. We can't do this alone. Find your support system to help you do it. And then finally, the third lesson, and this one has been hard for me, because patience, y'all, patience is not my thing. You can't do it overnight. 
This has been a long, long journey. And it started as I'm traveling and I'm loving it and everything is amazing. And then we have this minor thing, hashtag COVID, where all of a sudden I found myself having to completely learn a new skill set. Because y'all, virtual, behind a camera, completely different than in person. Completely different. I had to learn a completely new skill set when it was not what I was expecting. I thought that I would throw Disney out there and people would be like, you're amazing, come speak for us. And I would be like, I am and I will. And that's not how that happened at all. But when it's worth it, you'll keep pushing no matter what life throws your way. And this, all of this has been worth it. So the three lessons that I'm offering from a year as a full-time entrepreneur is you're not for everyone. You're not. Find the people that you are for. Find your support system. You're not going to be able to do this alone. And then remember, it is not going to happen overnight. There's a quote, and I can't remember who said it, but it's an absolutely amazing quote. And it said that success is not made in one giant leap. It is made in small, tiny, repetitive steps. So what, what step are you going to take? What are you going to do today? And a huge heartfelt thank you for being on this journey with me. I couldn't do it if it weren't for y'all. I'm going to tell you a little secret. On the days when I'm not sure, when I'm wondering if I should be doing this, I think of y'all and the emails that you send me after you watch a video or when you walk up to me at the end of a conference and you tell me what the words meant to you or when you drop a note on my YouTube channel, any of those things. Y'all always find me when I need you most. So thank you. I wouldn't be doing this without you. Have an absolutely amazing week. Have safe and happy holidays. And don't forget, as always, you got this. I'll see you next week.